I don't know how to edit photos anymore. Tjena, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. I'm not being in the back. First timer, consider subscribing to it. You know when you hit that wall that you just run straight into and it feels like nothing is good enough. You're doing something you have done before, but it just doesn't feel right and it doesn't feel like it's reaching up to the potential that you know it can. I've hit that wall when it comes to editing my photos. I love the photos. I love the outcome of the photo. But when it comes to working with the photos in post, I don't know, something happens. I can't reach that sweet spot. It's either too much or too little. I'm a fan of using presets. Never bought one in my entire life. Never bought a preset. I find free presets, blame me for that, put on the photo and tweak them till it feels like this is my style. This is the way I want my photos to look like. And after that, I save them as my own and I use them from there. I delete that one pretty much. I find a preset that I like this style, but I want to make it my own. And it's a great way to learn as well. But when it comes to presets, every photo is special. Doesn't matter. You need to work on the photo of your own. And I think that's where I kind of, kind of hit the wall. I'm trying to keep a theme to my Instagram feed. I've been thinking too much of that. I'm trying to find that, find that sweet spot. Like it's, it's like, it's so narrowed. I get that feeling that it's, this isn't good enough. This photo isn't good enough. Don't take me wrong. The photos are good. It's just that, you know, you edit something and you want it to feel a certain way. You want people to get that feeling of this is how it was when the photo was taken. You want to give that feeling to whoever looking at the photo and find that it's, it's really hard. And that's something that I'm struggling with right now. One thing that helped me with this is that I've been outside with Jeep a lot and filming travel videos instead, which I enjoy a lot. There's a lot of work into them. Cooking food that would take 10 minutes now take 20 minutes so there's a lot of work behind those videos they're really fun to film and they're fun to edit it's the same thing there when people are watching a video or a photo you want them to feel that feeling that was when that photo was taken or when that video was filmed there will always be times where you lose motivation of what you're doing and there will be an obstacle for you to overcome or a feeling that you will need to overcome and that's what I'm trying to do right now. A uh, good thing when you're doing stuff like this, you can always do something else when it comes to that moment. Like me right now, I'm filming travel videos instead of editing my photos. I have a bunch of photos that are just laying there waiting for me to find the motivation to actually start doing something with them. And hopefully that will be very soon. When you're passionate about something, you will always find a way back to it and find that motivation to keep going with whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter what that is. If it's if you're passionate about your work, you'll always find a way to make work better. And this is not the first time. I've come across stuff like this my whole life. And in photography, it's been more than once that I've struggled with the editing part. I would say taking photos, is it's not easy, but if you know what you're looking for, it's easy to take a photo, but to get that feeling of being there, it's a lot harder. And sometimes it's, just, sometimes it's just good to try something new and change things up. Just like this, I'm not in my little office space. I'm actually just in the couch uh, in front of the TV. I rigged the camera. It feels like light was good from the, from the window. So it felt better doing this out here. So it's always good to change it up. I think most of the times when I've hit walls like this, I find a, a new way to edit things. I'm looking up ways to increase the sky, make the, make the foreground look better. You find another way and another style. You switch it up a little bit, you find your way. I think it's good for a creative purpose as well. I think it's good, you learn something new on the way. This was meant as a shorter video, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you in the next video. Hold That didn't work. That didn't work.